So we've been playing the Naturalist role in the new Red Island update for about a week now, trying to figure out the best ways to rank up for you guys. We did hit rank 20, grinding through all this, and uh, make some money. We found out, you know, selling samples, full sheets of a sample, to Miss Davenport is the best way. But there is a trick to it. We're going to go over all that right now in this video. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video about the naturalist role and selling samples to Miss Davenport. If you guys are new around here, may I suggest hitting that subscribe button so you guys always get notified when we put up new videos because we've been playing Red Dead Online since it came out and uh, we ain't going anywhere anytime soon. So we're going to be talking about the naturalist role. Uh, this method is great for making money with the naturalist role as well as ranking up if you're not ranked 20 yet. When you get a sample from Miss Davenport, you can sell that to her for a minimal amount of cash and 50 to uh, 60 XP if you have some of the Outlaw Pass bonuses. But if you save those samples uh, and use the field guide, you actually can maximize that. Every time you sell a sample to Miss Davenport, you get yourself a stamp in your field guide. Now you only can fill one stamp at a time in the field guide. Once you complete an entire sheet of stamps in the field guide, then uh, you can trade that in for some cash and a thousand roll XP up to 1300 if you have the max roll bonus with the outlaw pass. So in this video, we went around and we did all kinds of hunting in the farmlands. Uh, that is one of the easiest ones to do. The desert animals are quite easy as well. I've completed the mountain and river sample sheet a couple times as well, but it has some of the wolves on it and those are kind of sometimes difficult to get. The farmland one is the easiest because the animals don't attack you too much. Some of the bulls kind of do, but for the most part, you can get a lot of them uh, and they're not too bad. Right, Capo. explaining it was kind of hard. Let me go ahead and show you. It is kind of difficult there. If we look at our actual field guide, actually, I need to get away from these guys a little bit here. Uh, if we pull up our field guide, you could see here that uh, Animal Heartlands, it does say I have 6 of 11 stamp. We have 11 of 14 desert animals. The desert animals, like I said, are fairly easy because there is the cougar here, but a cougar is pretty easy to find out in the desert. Not too bad. A lot easier than, than, than the two wolves that are in the mountain one. And uh, then the, these are all pretty easy to find. I just haven't done them at all, but they, they should be. We need to go find that. That's just a, all that is is a male proghorn, and that's a, a female of this ram right here. So I should be able to find those no problem. I just haven't gone around and done it yet. We have completed two sets of the mountain and grasslands. Uh, that one I said, like I said, it's a little harder because of these two wolves up here. They are kind of difficult to, not too bad to find, but you know, to get them sedated, to get the samples. Yeah, usually you get attacked by them. So we went around and we went for the good old farmland. If we look at the farmland animals here real quick, you can see we had them all. Uh, they are pretty easy to find. We'll mark on the map in a few minutes where we all went. You know, a lot of people are making videos on this route, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, goats are found at Emerald Ranch pretty easy. Pigs are found both in Valentine, uh, in the main area of Valentine, and just outside Valentine, as well as Flatneck Station. That's where we found all of these. Sheep, Emerald, like crazy. Uh, the cows, a couple different places. Emerald Ranch is the best place to get most of these cows. The Florida Cracker is the one that's everywhere. Um, there's a spot just outside of Emerald Ranch. We'll make sure to mark these. And then there's a spot where I got uh, one of these. Uh, I think the he Hefford Ford Bull is one of the hardest ones to get. It doesn't spawn very often. But that's the one I got uh, outside of Rhodes. We'll make sure to mark that on the map here in a little bit so you guys can do all that. Not too bad, though. As you can see, I have a few of these sold. Now here's what we want to talk about. Um, if we back up real quick, you could see that if we trade this in, we'll only get 60 bucks. The farmland ones aren't that great, but you still do get a thousand roll XP for doing this right here. Uh, but the one thing you want to do is you don't want to sell all of your samples all at once. Because since I already have a stamp for this Florida Cracker Cow, if I sell all the samples I have to Miss Davenport right now, I still only have one stamp if that makes any sense. So we're going to go up to her right now, and we're going to sell her a stamp for the Angus Bull, the Devon Bull, the Her Hereford Bull, and uh, this Old Spot Pig. 
So we're going to do all the bulls, right? Is this a bull right here? No. So all three bulls. We're going to sell her all three bulls and the old spot pig. Oh, there was another pig too. Let me make sure we know exactly what we're doing. It's probably the the big china. Yeah, big china pig. So that's the, three we're, that's the five we're going to do right now. Uh, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. If you go into your satchel and go over to uh, your valuables, it will actually have like a suitcase of all your samples. It kind of works like the collector roll and your your sets, right? Uh, so these are our sets. If we go to the farmland one, it actually will open up and show you how many samples I have right now of each one of these animals. Uh, you can carry 10 of each. So I have 10 Berkshire pigs, 10 Merlot sheep, 9 Angus ox, 6 big chinas. Uh, you can see the ones I only have 3 of. Those are kind of the ones that are uh, harder to get. Um, I have, of course, 10 Florida crackers. Now, if I went over to her right now and sold everything I have, everything right now, of course, I would have a stamp on everything in that field guide. But then when I sold that field guide, I'd have zero stamps and zero samples, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to go over to her and we're going to sell some stuff. Let's see, Miss Davenport. Don't be mad at me, okay? I haven't been killing anything for a while, so please be nice. She is. I think she's going to be nice. I've, I've, been, I've been good. So we said we needed to do bulls, right? Let's go find our bull real quick. Angus bull. Uh, let's go ahead and sell one of those. Um, let's see. Uh, we have the Hefford bull. Hefford bull, we're going to sell one of those. Um, the Devon bull, we're going to sell one of those. And then we had a couple pigs, right? The old spot pig and I believe the china pig. Um, which should we should have quite a lot of those as well. So we're gonna go right there big China pig there now. We sold all of those now. We're gonna back up Now we're gonna jump back over to our uh, field guide it might even open it up for us It will right there BAM So there we go now you can see that we have a big stamp on that field guide that means it's complete Right now if I went and sold all of my samples to her right now Yes, I will still have that stamp there, but I won't have any more samples of seller. So we're going to go ahead and trade this in. It's square on a uh, PlayStation. Uh, so there we go. Now we should get $60. I should get regular XP. You won't see roll XP because I don't get any, but you will get a thousand roll XP as well or 1300 if you're fully ranked up. Now, what we can do if we uh, pull up that field guide, you could see that we have zero stamps right zero stamps so we're gonna go back over to her right now and we're gonna sell again let's see sell to miss davenport and we're gonna sell one of each so alpine goat um let's see let me go through all these real quick the cracker cow angus bull did that one sell we'll have to check and see it did it did it did uh, let's see uh go through all these real quick the that bull right there uh, Devon Bull, Old Spot Pig, um, let's see, the Devon Ox, Big China Pig, the Sheep, and this Ox right here, the Angus Ox, the Berkshire Pig, and I think that should be it. I think that should be it. Now if we back out of here real quick, we should be complete again we are check that out we are 100 percent complete on this again we can go to our field guide we have our full stamp we are done all the stamps there now you that's what we're here to talk about this video do not sell all of your samples all at once if you're working on trying to get uh some good xp because if you sell all your stuff all at once you cannot double up or triple or quadruple your xp by selling these sets now i could sell trade this in again just like that, back out, and if I had the roll XP, I get another thousand XP for that. We're gonna get a thousand regular XP here in a second once it catches up for us. There we go. We can go back into her again, since I did have three of those uh, those good old fashioned uh, Hedford Hedford bulls. Is that what they're called? The Hedford bulls. We can go ahead and sell one more because we should have enough to uh, complete it again. We'll go ahead and get that general fast. There we go. Animal field guide updated. Go back to it. We have, there we go. We got three of them. Three of them right there. Not a problem. We should have sold it. There we go. Categories traded in. Three. We'll get some more stuff. Now we can go back in now and I can uh, sell her everything again and then we'll see exactly what we need um, because we are going to need a couple things at this point. 
I did run around for about an hour and a half or so getting all this stuff. Not too bad. We'll go back through real quick and uh, let her know what we got. And she will let us know what we need to, to get at that point. And then we can go back out and uh, do all that again. And there you go. You get a thousand XP over and over and over again. As long as you're doing it with this method. Do not sell all of your samples all at once because you won't get credit for those sets, if that makes sense. You have to sell them individually and do it this way or you won't get credit for all of these sets. You definitely want to do it like this so you can maximize that XP, Cowpoke. If we go back and check our field guide, you can see we have 9 of 11, so we do need to go back and find some more Devon Bulls and the Hedford Bulls, and uh, that's it. Those are the two that are actually the hardest to get. We'll go on our map real quick and I'll show you exactly where I went around to find everything. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, again, you could do this with any of the sets, even the ones that are worth more money. Same amount of XP if you're trying to rank up, but when, if you're already ranked up, you're looking for money, I highly recommend some of the other ones. Um, they are worth a few hundred dollars. Um, so where we're looking at right now, of course, Emerald Ranch has uh, the goats as well as uh, the Florida cows and a couple of the oxen that, that spawn right there. There's also an oxen that spawns right here. You can grab that guy all the time. If you go to this farm right here, you can get tons of the Florida cracker cows as well as all the other oxen and bull. Now, you can go to this, and I did do this as well. You can go, and uh, if what you need is not there, you can uh, jump lobbies, and uh, hopefully they'll get there to spawn, to get some of those to spawn for you. Of course, in Valentine, at the farm, you should have the pigs over here, sheep there as well, and then right back here at uh, this little building right here, there's also some sheep that spawn right here, or some, sorry, some, uh, some pigs. There's definitely some pigs that spawn right there. There's also some sheep that spawn right here as well. And then we also got a whole bunch of sheep and we ended up pretty dang good at Flatneck Station. If you go to Flatneck, there is a little fenced area right about here that has tons of pigs. One time we went there and they were, they were all they were all the old spot pigs. We got like five old spot pigs right there. So make sure you guys are checking out that. The last spot I wanna show you guys is over by Rhodes. And it is this farm right here at Matlock Pond. Uh, this farm right here, there are tons of, of course, Florida Cracker Cows, a couple of the the Angus Oxes, um, but there's a actual a one pen that's kind of small right here that a bull does spawn in every once in a while, and it can be any of the three bulls that randomly spawn there. So you can sit in that area and uh, change lobbies if you need to try to find what you're looking for, but you should be able to find that one right there at Matlock. That's all the spots that we used today to get all the XP to saw us get there, guys. We got, if we had the roll, we would have got a rank and a half, no problem right there. Um, and then uh, we would have got some easy money as well, as well as club XP to rank up your outlaw pass if you're looking at that. Hey, Cowpoke, if you like this video and helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Line content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.